<laughs> we, we just bullshit until we find a until we find a starting point. Okay. Hey everybody, it's your resident nobody, the artist formerly known as Pancake Princess, Candice Lorraine. And I just took a DNA test. Turns out I'm a hundred percent that bitch you knew I was, Frida Hayworth. And this is episode three of Candice Lorraine's Runway Rundown, where we talk shit. I mean, where we um. We very nicely and politely, very politely, diplomatically mm -hmm. and funny. constructively critique the looks from the stage at Rich's Houston. Always constructive criticism. Of course, 100%. Desi's Drag Race Season 18. And also, I forget to mention, we are one of many shows where this happens. You can catch the other ones sometime on the internet. Look it up. But if you prefer us, we get it. Who's to say? The runway theme this week category is pride. Also, plug your shirt. Yeah, this is my the my my friend and I designed this shirt for pride. It's, it's um Steven Universe's garnet. It says I am made of love. Uh but yeah, you can find the link in my page to his stuff. Sorry, and that was a in horrible the, plug. Also in the comments below. The girls and guy were given a week to put together a look that embraced pride. I did find it a little bit late, I guess. I thought pride would have been last week. Um but Pride has passed and here we are going out on a on a high note because some of the looks were really good and some of the looks were not. You haven't seen any of them, have you? I haven't seen it. No, no, so this is going to be a whole new experience for me. I'm excited. This was a whole 30 minutes late. Ooh! Are you excited to get into this? I am. Ready? Let's get into it. So contestant number one, we have Emerald City. Ooh. <laughs> for a long time and she does turn a lot of looks consistently this however um i found it kind of campy mm, and um okay. it was fun it was a lot of fun she had a lot of fun coming down she she did look good she looked good um i just didn't i expected a little bit more i expected a little bit more fashion i guess a little bit of like a like a i wanted to be like wowed and i wasn't wowed I guess, I mean, I don't turn looks. Like, it's better than what I would have brought, I guess. Okay. Because you saw what I wore. <laughs> it's cute. It was just $20 something. $20 jumpsuit. Um, well, when I first saw it, like, when she came out, I kind of felt the same thing you did. And um, I don't know if I'm expecting fashion from, from her because she looks a little bit like Aquaria. A lot of it like Aquaria. Uh, but anyway, so I'm, like, I don't know a lot of the girls like you guys do I'm just very out of the loop and um, and so the first moment when she walked out um, I thought it made her she's she's tiny she's small so I thought it made her look um, even smaller because it and it was a little boxy and you know like a rainbow colored train we've seen that which was the only thing that you know that's different but then as she walked as she was getting closer to the camera and I got a closer look I actually really liked it uh, I liked the design. I mean, I, from afar it looked boxy, but because of of how it was, I don't know, tailored or like taken in, uh, it gave her a nice shape up close, and I thought it was cute. I didn't care for the thing around her shoulders. That's the only thing I didn't care for. But um, even up, up close, I I love the hair, so um, I liked it. Uh, I wasn't reinventing the wheel, but uh, but I I did really enjoy it. Was that me? <laughs> Was any of that nice? I mean, well, uh, we're both um, we're both uh, runner-ups, oh. so we're the Ravens. Yeah, we're just like Raven, the, Ravens. the bitch. Runner-up, Desi's Drag Race season, whatever. Runner-up, Drag It On season two. two. Yeah. yeah. So we're both bitter bitches, I guess. I wasn't gonna win. All right, contestant number two, your best friend. We have Nick Slaray. Yeah, I haven't seen it. <laughs> Yeah, go first. 
So I, I have actually haven't met her, but I love everything she does. I'm actually a little mad at you because you said she was one of the worst dressed the first week, and I she was the only one that piqued my interest that first week. And I actually did see that one because I was there since nine o'clock that night. But anyway, uh, I'm mad. But anyway, uh, we I'm not gonna go into a whole diatribe about that. Um, I really like this. I like this look. It's it was simple. I. I'm very nitpicky, so I think I, I would have liked a bigger skirt just because the top was so simple, which was very nice, but like, because it's a competition, you want to gag everyone, right? Yeah. Um, and so, but I think it was, it, it was, it's, it was beautiful and it was nice to have the warm colors on top and then the blue, green and uh, purple in the front of the skirt. I thought I thought that was smart and the gloves I love sorry. I, you know, I, no. I I'm, I'm all about attention to detail Argumentatively, I would have loved the red to be in the front <clears throat> Like the red the orange and the yellow in the front because she had red hair and then gold and so I wouldn't want to be red gold red mm, okay. And I thought it would have looked a lot nicer. Also, I didn't really care for a black shoe with all that color oh. I didn't see the black shoes. See? What I did love, however, is something that I guess I think you would also appreciate but didn't show up that well in the video. She wore a metallic blue lip. <sighs> and it was so nice. I love me a blue lip. It Look was me up on Facebook. So I, nice. do. <laughs> um, I loved it. Um, she looked really good. Actually, I have a picture. It reminded me a whole lot. Um, Britney Spears, her crazy two her crazy two thousand tour. She wore this. I'm gonna have it up on the thing. Oh, like yeah. right here, like gold and this rainbow skirt. See, I didn't. See, I saw this the the top part as yellow, not gold. That's why I liked it. Then I would have agreed with you. Then I guess if it was gold, to that it was all warm. Yeah. But I don't know. I I did like that in the video it showed. Yeah. She she looked um she I I really liked it. I had wished <laughs> another thing like nitpicky. I suppose I wish the hair kind of went up in the back. Because mm, okay. it was big this way, mm -hmm. but then not big this way, and it was just like a really grand look. Yeah. And I think if, like, like you said, if the skirt had been bigger and if the hair had been a little bit higher, it would have been incredible. Yeah. Like I, I liked it. I'm really proud of this look from her. Like, cause um, I think that's why I was so harsh on her before, cause I expect a lot more from her. And her, her look last week for the drag suicide. That, like red spangly Leo mm. with that like long white hair that was a really good look so I just I was disappointed week one when she came out in something that I knew she could have done better than here's the thing though here's the thing as soon as she came out she gave me like Huntress Queen and and because of the goth dark low with a bang um, wig it was like it reminded me of um, it made me think of the Blair Witch Project because you know she's they say she's covered in hair and so I I love that it was I'm I like anything spooky right and the problem for me was execution because when she turned around and the the skirt had two different colors and like maybe she ran out of hair I mean I am not saying she should have you know she was the best the week one but she was the one that piqued my interest my interest the most so. See, you loved that little wig, but I was getting Party City Selena. <laughs> like... I mean, and what's wrong with Party City Selena? There's nothing wrong with Selena. Any kind of Selena. Ever. Gomez? No. Gosh. You you hate my people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, no, I liked the look a lot. I liked it a whole lot. And I think, I don't know, comparatively, how um, Emerald City came out really over the top. Uh -huh. Which is one way to meet the challenge, which Emerald City did meet the challenge very well. And then Nyx is, I guess, a little bit more strategic, how you just meet the challenge, like, at the base. Because mm -hmm. it was, like, a base-level rainbow look, mm -hmm. but executed really well. And another thing that Nyx always does, I'm so sorry, oh my god. No, um, Nyx always um, has a really confident stride in her little walk. Mm -hmm. Nyx comes out with a lot of, like... Her had a lot of personality in that walk, and you know it. it. Regardless of what she's wearing, like you said, like week one, she I guess you didn't like her little turn, but I liked it a lot because it showed that she was proud of what she had on. She can sell me a dirty diaper. She did week one. <laughs> Girl, don't make me laugh like a man. <laughs> and as a number three, we have Valencia St. James. Judges, this is contestant number four.
You're gonna dig in? That's sure. why? Uh, no, I really liked it. Um, at first, um, at first I was like, a rainbow leotard, great. But, uh, and I, I think it's because I wasn't there, but uh, like once they get closer to the camera, I, I loved the attention, again, the attention to detail. I love the rainbow braid. I think that that's what sold me the most. Um, and I love the, like the, the red accents. I think they tie the whole thing together a little bit. The only thing, my problem with those, because I'm picky, uh, it's a good look. My problem with those, like to make it, give it to the next level, I think it was a lot of different textures. So. Um, but I also know shit. Um, okay, so it looked like, um, like a one piece bathing suit with just like, this is everything I have pinned onto it oh, okay. um, but um to concede i love valencia st james like you I cannot love. you cannot tell me that that is not like a little woman that's a woman that's the woman that's the kenny michaels of this yes season. oh yes 100 <laughs> i see that for her um um i think i wish the pink bang had been black because it would have been like black bang black hair and then this beautiful braid um mm. also i wish the red accents had been a different color like, um, I think it was too, okay, because, um, the swimsuit, one, did not have any red on it. It had more, like, pink hues. They were all, like, a washed out kind of pastel mm -hmm. Like, it was very, like, ravey, I guess, the swimsuit. And so I think if she had done, like, a pink, like, a hot pink accent. But, um, I also understand why it was red, because it's, like, love. Because, like, love is love, love wins. Um, it was a good look. I expected more from her because she's looked so good first season the, like, first episode was bam episode one incredible also fun fact um i didn't even realize until i had showed somebody else her shoe broke coming down the stairs that's why she fell oh. the shoe just gave out okay. and the heel like flew off that's what Asteria is picking up in the background and she just kept walking she was walking on point like on her toes she was walking and i didn't even realize her shoe had broken she played off so well and that's also why she's coming up the stairs so slow this time yes um yeah no um i love um valencia st james i just didn't i almost said kenny michaels i love valencia. i thought you were gonna, i thought you said i love come and i was like cool i'm mixing okay. all of us i'm kidding <laughs> um but um, i love valencia um i just didn't i again expected a little bit more from this look. I like the pink bang. Sorry. So I wanted it to be black or it could have been red to match her accents, but I like that she had all these red accents and then that red pump. Oh, I didn't I see like the red pump. Shoes. Why am I not looking at shoes? So contestant number next, we have Jacqueline D. <laughs> Um, I love Jacqueline. I've always loved Jacqueline for a long time. I've been a huge fan of her. Um, I like the skirt. It reminded me a lot of, um, you know, like the Mexican hat dance. Yes, yes. So I actually, it's from my state. Um, the um, Jarabe Tapatio. Yeah. Um, I, I love the way it moved in. I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this because I'm not sure I haven't asked her, but I think she might have made that because she is a seamstress. Oh, she wow. does sew. And um, I know she sews at top though because um, that's the same fabric from last time, that mm. unicorn fabric. Um, so she bought the bolt. She's getting, a, she's getting she's, her money's worth. She's getting her money's worth. And, yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's good. And the, the unicorns have rainbows on them, sure. Okay. Um, it wasn't doing it for me. It wasn't. But the skirt, I loved it. I loved the movement. And again, it's a very, a very strong walk. Um, helps sell your garment. Yeah. And, um, I recall, I think, um, I saw the score. I think she scored pretty well, um, in the runway. Are you okay? Yeah, it's driving me, my hair is driving me crazy, sorry. It's okay, you drive me crazy, daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Should I, was I supposed so, to sound like a man? Mm, okay. <laughs> I liked it. I piggybacking off of what you said. No, I love the skirt. I thought it was, it's, that's the kind of length and not volume because it didn't have the same volume, but that's the kind of grandness that I wanted in Nyx's 
Yes. Skirt. Um, but I, I love the skirt. I, I love the lavender hair. I, um, I love me some, uh, what's her face from, uh, Fashion Police, uh, mauve hair. No one knows what you're saying. Kelly Osbourne. Kelly Osbourne. Yes. Um, yeah. Um, I hate that print. I hated it the first time. I hate it now. I hate unicorns and I hate purple. But also, I mean, that's just personal. I'm not saying it's bad. But um, I think very few people can get away with wearing two different prints. Um, and unless you're Solange, you shouldn't try it. And I mean, the skirt wasn't a print, but um, it's two different, you know. Um, it clashed. Yeah. It clashed. And um, if it was, yeah, but I, I like the wig. Um, I like that it was giving me this like matronly look, which I know some people think that's bad, but I, I love, you know, like, I love that drag can allow you to look a different kind of way every single time. I think it worked really well. Yeah. I, I love, I loved it. I love the way that the wig was up and uh, yeah, the shoe didn't match, but it didn't bother me because it was nice. All right, the next contestant we have is King Valentino. Oh, I love King Valentino. <laughs> Valentino, I love what she, what he does, what I, from what I've seen uh, in the competition so far. Um, didn't love this look. I thought it was very, I am at Pride Festival, like it was, it was pedestrian. And I love what he does. I and maybe just like might be kind of reading you the quality of the video. Um, but the only thing that I cared for, <laughs> no, not you, you, but like you know, you can't see everything as if. Like as well as you can see it in person, but um, the only thing that I cared for was the the boots or socks. I don't know what those were, where, but those looked interesting. But everything else, I mean, I, I like that he did the you know the what are, the harness thing. Um, I think he should, should have simplified. I think he had a lot of a lot of nothings. Uh, that's not the right way to say. It. Just like a lot of stuff, like the little bow didn't get in the cape it was like a 12 inch cape and we know we like something more than 12 inches um I just wanted something grander like if it's if you're gonna go big go big big if not I don't know I take that off take that off um yeah um or just just wear the boots or the socks, just just that. I would have been very happy. <laughs> if he got it, flaunt it. And he did. Um, boom, 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 boom. He looked good. Like He's said, loved like five people that day. Um, <laughs> a lot of personality in the walk. Uh -huh. Very confident, very happy. Um, did you like his little his little gag with the whole person behind him? I missed it. It was literally right there. Yeah. No. Like I. I I thought, I thought, ooh, this would have been cool though. If that guy followed him as his shadow after the the reveal. Because I, I thought that's what was going to happen. And her, his first, um, his first, um, runway gave me like very Mortal Kombat vibes. Oh, yeah. I loved Sis, it. This gay Raiden. Loved it. Yeah. And so this kind of gave me like some sort of like, can I curse? Fuck yeah. shit, fuck shit, goddamn yeah. shit, shit. Yeah. Do you know where that's from? ECA. Just watched it like five times last week. But, um, yeah. And so, what was I talking about? The video games. 
yeah. So, by Lana Del Rey. so if, if he would have followed him, I caught it like a glimpse before he walked away. Um, if he would have followed him, I would have loved it. I no, not love the look, but love that little, um, little gag. gag. Uh, but not my favorite. Um, not my favorite so far. I haven't seen the other one, so I can't say, you know, <laughs> if it's the worst. But it's not great. <laughs> um, I'll tell you later. Um, the As next. Dick. Just kidding. The next contestant we have <laughs> is Audacity. <laughs> Like, congrats to Yahira for painting that face and making that whole, we yeah, made the whole garment. Oh, also props to Robbie Kiss for that hair. I know it's a Robbie Kiss and it was incredible. Um, what's up? Um, well, come on, Aisha O'Hara with the butterflies. Uh, I, no, I loved it. It's a, it's a beautiful gown. Um, I do have a little bit of a... I'm ready. Uh, and it's just, like I said, I, I'm a very, um, picky, picky, picky. Very picky. I'm very detail oriented. Uh, no, the thing is, all the pictures of the gown on another queen. Um, I don't know if I can say names. Say it. She's gonna watch it. Saw <laughs> so the pictures of of the gown on on Regina, and it's it's a beautiful gown. And then that other um, cape thing, it was I, I saw a similar thing on another dress, right? So it's kind of like a com a combination of the looks. My problem with it is, I I thought it was really smart and beautiful how she. Um, she used, you know, the the cards the with the color, the paint colors, right? But she didn't u just use like the same card over and over again. It's different. It's different um, shades of of this of the colors, right? And the way she plays them, it uh, creates this kind of movement in the dress. And I think with the black thing over it, it kind of loses it. So if if the tool would have been a lighter color, maybe if they wanted to add the butterflies but um i liked it the way it was i think a happy medium would have been if the cape had come off halfway through yeah down the stairs um but i agree like it's got it's got lovely movement the way it was constructed um i liked it though i loved it honestly um i thought it was incredible the hair the makeup the outfit cape gloves I loved it. I yeah, I know. I love the hair and the. Oh, and that head, that head piece. piece. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. The next contestant we have is my dear sis, Aurora Rissette. <laughs> How many queens came out in a leotard and a train? Um, so <laughs> people are gonna hate me, they don't even know me yet. Shit. Um, I have this to say months ago, I sent a picture to Aurora Say, we'll, we'll put it up. Um, I saw this ad for rave wear, and I was like, this looks like some dumb shit Aurora would wear, and then I sent her this picture. <laughs> And she was like, what? No, I wouldn't do that. No, what are you talking about? And then she fully comes out in almost the same thing. Um, I thought these butterfly wings were a nice touch. Mm -hmm. um, it did not show up because she didn't have them up for that long. Um, the wings are fully stoned. They were fully stoned. I have some pictures. We can put up a picture. I have some in my thing and I'll show you later. Um, the wings are fully stoned. And if she had had them up a little bit longer, they would have hit the light just right. 
Um, Why did she put him down? I was I was mad at her and I don't even know her. Um, I know, like I told her, um, we were getting ready when we were getting ready. I told her, I was like, don't let them go because you're not gonna be able to pick them back up again. And then lo and behold, well, she had she needed help getting down the stairs, so I understand that. But like, she was in a one inch heel. I'm mad. <laughs> I don't know you, but I'm mad at you. Just so you know. This girl um, with the messy wig line is mad at you. Do you know how bad that is? It's okay. Aurora loves a messy wig line. Thank you. Um, yeah. Huh? I'm... Yeah, sorry. Keep going. No, you're fine. Emma, it was cute. I, I did not hate... I did not hate it. Um, she met... Again, she met the challenge. Everybody met the challenge with their leotards. Um, but I... I'm not going to say I expected more from her. Um, and that... Ooh. I think if she had kept the wings up a little bit longer and she had not struggled with them at the end, she would have scored a little bit higher because, again, presentation is a is a big part of scoring. Um, but having worn her rainbow look last week for drag suicide, um, she put together what she had, and um, it was moderately successful. Here's the thing, though. I could see that she put together what she had because... The, I, I, when she gets clothes, the, the, um, the, my body suit, what's it called? The leotard has this, like, rainbow, um, the stoning. Yeah, rainbow stoning, like, like the happy trail. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 but it's, it's, it's beautiful. And that's beautiful. And, um, if the wings are beautiful by themselves, but if you say they're stoned, which I didn't see because of the video, uh, then, you know, that was beautiful. So it was, Two beautiful things i don't know that they necessarily went together again the ruffle tail is something three girls have already done just tonight so and during pride week <laughs> we saw that a lot so um i'm not saying it's bad it's just if you're in a competition you should also be um uh, that is beautiful she had like some like crazy antennas or like something wrapped around her legs that made her look like a fucking bug I would have gagged and here this is the thing like even if you don't have what can you do to go the extra mile even if you don't have anything which is what I did for six weeks but um I do <laughs> I can agree to that because um Aurora does do graphic makeup she can, and she could have spent a lot of time doing a graphic butterfly look for her face and her body because she does have people backstage who have done quick drag for her before. In between changes, she had Chloe Knox in her number who could have easily, if asked, done a quick drag for her. Mm. And um, it would have gone over a lot better. But, you know. Missed opportunity, girl. What are you going to do? Yeah. I'm still mad because you, wait, is she the one I'm mad at? I forgot. How long have I been um, talking for? Because the wings are fully down. Yeah. Put down. Yeah. yeah. I'm mad. All right, the next contestant we have, I believe the final contestant as well, is Paprika Banji. I saw this hair last night. It took me three hours. Looks like shit. Thank you. I thought it was <laughs> conceptually. I thought it was great. Mm -hmm. okay. And um, had again, like they're only given a week, and I feel like had she been given like any amount of more time, it would have been brought together a little bit better. But um, she. She was shitting. She was. That's she. Okay. It, she was. It was Cinderella at the stroke of midnight, honey. She was just pieces. I, I loved how, like, at the end, it became kind of like this coat thing. Uh, so, like, she, I don't know, it was, like, gaggy, costumey, not costumey, but it was gaggy, and then it was, like, fashion, too. I loved it. The only thing is, if she would have made some allusion to, to rain, so, like, maybe some blue, wearing blue or something, or, like, how 
she had like oh like blue, blue fringe on this side of the cloud well actually the shoes are like a metallic like aqua color fringe like that color i would have i would have died um and if she would have played it off because like you said presentation is a lot so if you she would have played it off i was like oh i'm ringing i'm sad you don't have to but it's just an idea right so and then like bam and there's always you know uh a rainbow at the end of the i don't fucking know i mean she looked beautiful she looks she's always beautiful she's always oh beautiful God, no um i liked it i really enjoyed it uh was it the most fashion forward no but was it my like what I enjoyed seeing most yes I out of the eight things. where do you think it scored I hope it scored high unless the judges saw the card but like I did she got last <gasps> what I need to speak to these judges <laughs> who do you think got first oh I know uh, I mean I assumed it was um I'm sorry I forget the names I'm really bad with names um Audacity. Do you remember earlier when I was like, I'll tell you later. I have a flashback. Can we have a flashback real quick? Valentino? But, yeah. What? King Valentino. He got first place. Maybe I just don't get it. Maybe I'm... My sense of art and fashion is so shit that I don't get it. But I don't get it. The pussy was the right one. Uh, Again. Oh, fucking Tuesdays, right? It, it is Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> Are oh. there any shows going on today? <laughs> so in the intro, I said all the looks were good, and then all we did was talk shit. I know. I remembered them being better. <laughs> My memory's fading. <laughs> it's because I looked so good, so I was just elevating everyone. That's true. I don't think anyone else could have pulled that $10 Party City. My little jumper? Yeah, what was it? <laughs> I don't remember. I want to say thank you for inviting me. Um, I hope you have me over again. Oh, uh, I will. I don't have any friends. I've heard that. From who? <laughs> Nobody knows who I am. That's, that's true. <laughs> From a ghost. The ghost of Montrose, Rosemary. I yes! know, <laughs> uh, but thank you so much for having me. I, I quite enjoyed it. I had um, a good ass time. Me too. And, um, um, yeah, I love talking shit about people. No, I did love, like, I the runway was great. I know I... I talked a lot of shit, but um, I I enjoyed it. Even it, the ones that I didn't, I was. You know, everybody did a good job, and didn't. everybody got to stay. And the people, especially the people that we talked the most shit about, were the ones who scored the highest. So like, clearly we ain't shit. Yeah. So um, catch me nowhere because no one's booking me, but you can also book me. <laughs> oh, here we are. That's the new. That's the new series title, The Unbookables. The un. <laughs> okay. Okay. We gotta go. Okay. Bye. bye.